Today our guest is uh, Shawan Miller. Our title of our show is um, Can She Forget Katrina? Well, is that a stupid title? Well, sometimes they are. We are going to talk about Katrina because she is a Katrina survivor, but what we're really going to focus on after we find out how she got to California from New Orleans is what she's got in mind and what's going for her now and how she and her family are coping with the big change. Enough for me. Hi, Shawan. How you doing, Miss Shirley? I'm doing quite fine. Um, how did you get out of New Orleans? Me and my husband left New Orleans because we had transportation at the time. And we went to my mother's house, which didn't have a room, enough room for me, my husband, and our kids. Okay, how many kids do you have? I have four. Okay. Uh, including a stepdaughter. Okay. And my husband and I left the kids at my mom, and we went and stayed at a shelter, which was in Baton Rouge, not too far from my mom. And from the shelter, we met some guys from California who were looking for people to help from New Orleans, to bring them to California, to give them a place to stay, meaning come from off the shelter floors and come get a mattress, a room of your own, some privacy like. And we took them up on the offer and we came to California. They flew us down here in a private jet and we went to the Dream Center. Now, what made you decide that you would take up this offer? Actually, my husband made the decision because he didn't want to be in the shelter as well as I didn't. He didn't know what was going on with Hurricane Katrina as well as I didn't, and he just didn't want to be sitting around, and we didn't have a home to go back to. We couldn't go to my mom because it was going to be uncomfortable. We was away from our kids, and the offer the guy made, my family would be together, meaning me, my husband, and my kids, and they would help my husband find opportunities for his job, and that's what made us. So it was forward-looking. Exactly. It was forward-looking. Now, were you ever at the Astrodome? No, ma'am. Convention center. No, ma'am. How were you able to bypass that? You know, when you're not, we're not part of, you know, we're looking at it on TV. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of like everybody was herded there mm -hmm. into the Astrodome or the convention center. That is not true. No. No. You never got there. Never. So you were in a shelter that was not even close to there or? No, ma'am. Wasn't even close. Okay, so you did not have to put up with those kind of conditions. No, ma'am. All right. So the um, people that were here from the found were there from mm -hmm. the foundation. They just went around to everybody making this announcement, or how did you connect up with them? We was actually the shelter we was at was really a church, and they took people in after the situation, Hurricane Katrina, and gave us shelter. That's why I'm literally saying shelter. Mm -hmm. It was actually a church. And the Dream Center recruiters happened to be there. And the guy that recruited my family, his name was Aaron James, he was basically making a proposition. This is what I have. If you want it, it's yours. And I'm willing to give it to you at no cost. And in my situation, that was what we needed, and we took him up on offer. So other people from that shelter, did they join in, or they went around to many to collect people? They went around to various shelters. Okay. And to my understanding, a lot of people didn't pursue the opportunity because they thought New Orleans would be up and running next week, the following week, so they wanted to be as close to New Orleans as possible. But you seem to have had some insight that this was not going to be the case. I basically went on the reality point of, okay, you just left New Orleans, you saw the disaster, ain't nobody bewitched, it's not going to be up and running next week, so therefore, use your common sense, and we left. Well, you know, I think you probably hit it right there when you said use your common sense. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of folks that don't have common sense. True. You had common sense. You were able to utilize it. Many people kind of uh, stay in that uh, sort of dream category. Fantasy world. Fantasy world of uh, how things... How they want it to be. Absolutely. Is... Don't I know. So how did you get so smart so young? Learning, observing asking questions, just basically observing. Okay. Now, you came to uh, Los Angeles area. Yes, I did. And you were at the foundation um, headquarters, their own shelter here? Yes, ma'am. And you were there for how long? 
We actually stayed at the Dream Center from September the 4th till October the 22nd. Okay, and uh, was it more of your perception and observation that helped you move from there and get yourself a little more on track, or how did you uh, come to move from the foundation? Our initial plan never was to continually stay there. It was basically go there day by day, make a plan where we go from here. And I was pregnant at the time, and my delivery date was, my due date was August the 29th. And I gave birth August the 29th. Oh, so, you're a lady on time. <laughs> now, you're scary. <laughs> so we just was presented another offer from um, a family, which happened to be a billionaire and his wife. They decided they would help some families at the Dream Center. And my family was among the chosen. And they blessed us with a home for a year. And that was the next best thing. So we jumped on that train. So you know how to take a look at opportunity and advantage and use it for the purpose of your family moving ahead. Oh, most definitely. Now, did, 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 and, and, and that's the essence of this show. Uh, when I say, can she forget about Katrina, that's kind of ridiculous because nobody's going to forget about any experience that, of that magnitude. But the real issue is um, not so much forgetting about it, but not letting it bog you down exactly. in terms of thought and oh me, oh my, why me? Mm -hmm. So it sounds like what you're doing is putting your life on track. Trying our best. Trying your best, trying your best. So 